Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And the other day I did a video helping somebody install some names on this name tag. And somebody asked how I created the name tag. Well, I didn't create that, but I know how it's done. So just draw your hairline rectangle and use this right here on scallop corners. And I'm just going to guess at 0.35. Then, if you like that, go up to Effects and Contour and contour that to the inside, 0.1, let's say. Let's go a little bit more. Let's go point, point 0.15. Then, go up to Object, break the contour apart, and then grab that object, which is now a hairline, and double-click and change it to black and then change it to whatever thickness you want it to be. Let's say one point. And if you get your object out of the way, you can actually see how thick it is. Let's go two points just for the, or 1.5 for the video. So that's how you would do it. And that's a pretty neat name tag because it's got this will engrave and then you can put your name in there. It gives a little bit of bling. But that's very easily done. And you can... Um, then once you're done with it, you just duplicate it and make your name tags. And, you know, you could even butt them up and possibly if you were doing a lot of them, you could take the virtual segment delete key and know that deletes the whole thing. But you could do this. And this is the only... So let's, let's say we haven't butted up. Let's just move them out of the way half of an inch. You could take this line right here and convert it to a curve, take the shape tool, grab these two lines, whoop, and then we need to break them apart. So right click and break apart, and then just take that line and delete it. So then when you nudge this back up, it'll only cut that line once and you'll cut up, you'll save laser time. And you could do that and you could keep doing that. And the good thing about this, you could, you know, make a duplicate and, and uh, do it every other one and, and save you a little bit of laser time and a little bit of wood. Hope that made sense and thank you for watching.